Something, something's going on. Let's just get it cracking. Um, <clears throat> I saw an enemy somewhere. Hold up. Oh, there's one right here. I how it picks up stupid things instead of focusing on enemies. Here we go. I just want to make sure I get, um, ooh, we got friendly turrets as an option. We'll take that for sure if we can. Uh, in this case, then I'll go for mass vulnerability for the damage. Can I, oh, okay, what is going on with this? It might be tough. Trying to find a way to slide into it. Mm. Alright, so I go from FF to 55, 55 to E9, but can I get to a 7 from there? Nope. I go from here to 55 to 55 to E9. Does 7 ain't right across from it. Where are all the 7 A's at? 7 A, 1 C, 7 A. And I need a B. Okay, I can do that. Sorry about that. Sometimes just gotta solve puzzles because reasons. Yes, this one, right? All right, there we go. Freaking logic puzzles. <laughs> All right, I'm saving that. I don't like. I don't want to do that again. All right, let's start. Um, I haven't pinged them yet, right? Pinging him lets him know I'm here, but it also reveals them all to me, so. Oh, by the way, I should probably show you guys my build, but I'll do that after <clears throat> we finish taking these guys down. Because my build has changed immensely, and it's like way different than practically any other cyberpunk build you'll see on you the internet, I think. Like, maybe there's some very rare ones that you'll see that are similar to mine, but I'm pretty sure... This is going to be a uh, an extremely rare sniper build. Oh, hold up, hold up. Also, oh no, he has. That's not good. That's not good at all. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm screwed. I'm screwed if he has that. Um, I need to stop him from moving. Or this this happens faster. There. My only problem with him. Once I take care of him, we're good. Um Yeah, memory wipe is very useful. Very, very useful. Uh, especially, what level is it? Uh, uh, epic. Alright, so there's three of them up there. We're just gonna hit this one in the head. <laughs> Look at that level up for assault. Love to see it. Another headshot. We love our headshots, guys. I don't know what I just hit. Probably a camera. Looks like I'm missing. A surveillance camera up there. Alright, maybe there weren't three. It looks like we're still in hostile territory. I don't know if that's because. Oh no, here's our guy. There we go. And then we got one more. Focus. Missed. Oh, that's bad. I don't want to die here. I was trying to get the the hop shot, but it didn't work at all. My fire monitor is not reloaded yet. If I die here, I got to do all that over again. So I should probably be a little careful. 
Oh, there's an enemy. Um. All right, so here's a free jacking point. I should be a little bit careful because after I hacked those turrets, I only got like six minutes of where they're like actually on my side. So I gotta think about uh, if I wanna run up to them real quick and uh, yeah, override them like this. And I'll shut them down for good. I was playing a body build, maybe I wouldn't want to do that, just so I could rip them out at some other point. But for the most part, I think these turrets aren't going to be that useful. Alright, who am I in combat with? Maybe you can help me. Show me if there's an enemy nearby. Oh, over there. Alright. Okay, got a palica. Yeah. Actually, I think... Well, it should be easier. <laughs> I was gonna say, I think this one was easier than the time I did it with the other... <gasps> Ooh, a modified burial on the table. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to stop and uh, write that down in my guide. I don't know if that's a permanent placement, Hopefully it is. Actually, not only is it modified, but it's got the best modifier on it. Yeah, let's let's take a let's take a quick break here. Um, go ahead and fast forward like two minutes, and this video will, will continue. I'm not going to stop and upload and edit this out. So, just two minutes. Yeah, I'm still looking for, so that's why I'm doing all of these um, gigs, that I'm still looking for special modified weapons, especially like the RT Burya, kind of rare ones. Um, it's unfortunate that, they, that that one's actually a rare quality instead of an epic or a legendary, but obviously if it was legendary, it'd be insane. But even at rare level, it's, it's a good one. I like it. Is that a revolver or a pistol? What? Revolver. Really, it's a bird revolver, but... So that modifier is bugged to actually increase your rate of fire. So if you're firing, basically hip firing a tech weapon, um, it'll fire much faster and it'll do double the rounds. Uh, or in the case of the Achilles, it'll do like seven rounds instead of five. And I think there are some other tech weapons that have uh, different numbers, but basically it'll give you more rounds. And then on top of that, more, um, more fire speed more fire rate rather. One outside downstairs table. I'll call it a gun table. This is flying drugs. I'm not going to pick up the gun now. Um, we call it an ammo table, whatever you want to call it. Alright, what else we got around here? 
Wait, this is a connex you can open? But I can't open it. <gasps> There's a legendary something in there. You guys see that, don't you? Oh, wow. What about this side? Nope, can't do anything with that. I want to come back. I just don't have any way to... So, I'm at level 50, obviously, so I don't have any way to increase my strength any more than it already is increased. Like, I'm stuck. Oh, wait, hold up before I do that. Let's disable this. There. Okay. know who you're gonna get me in trouble with but I don't like the fact that you're seeing me was I was I just talking about before oh not talking about looking at does this one cost no it doesn't I don't bother with the ones that don't cost anything because they don't um increase your um your level of breach protocol is weird. At least, they don't seem to. How am I in combat? I have no idea who I'm gonna come back with. Like, maybe I should save. <laughs> I haven't saved in a little minute. Let's save here. Cause if I get killed, I'm gonna be really mad. Alright, I'm in combat. Oh. Wow, he's deep. Almost killed him in one shot, too. What's that? He, what's he firing with? Is that a pistol? Bars. Got Achilles, speaking of Achilles. Maybe I should heal. So much more annoying. I want to see one of those shirts. One of those shirts look kind of good. Rick hack cooldown reduction. Interesting. All right. Seriously. Okay. You're seeing me from a million miles away, and now you're dead. Oh, no, you're not. That didn't even kill him. You saw there wasn't a uh, red square on my screen. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. This time... Yeah, we're just gonna snap these guys from the start. Who else? Done. Yeah, 
Anybody else? No? I think this is another one I need to disable. There we go. And just triple checking that I disabled this one too. Got it. Oh, you can still rip them off after you disable them. That's nice. So I already found the disabled, not the disabled, the, uh, I found, already found a, um, modified weapon for here, so I'm very unlikely to find a different one, just because that's just how these things tend to f flow, you tend to only find one per quest, but we'll see if we get another one. Alright. Like this. There we go, we got Lexington here. I don't care about Lexington, so I'm just gonna ignore it. Um Whenever it comes to especially pistols, like regular pistols, because revolvers are just a better version of pistols for the most part. I just kind of ignore them. There's no reason to care about them. So if I see one then I just don't write it down. Like, the new A, I'm not writing down. The Lexington, I'm not writing down. I think the Omaha goes along with that as well. Like, anything that's basically a power pistol isn't getting written down. And I'll... Yeah, power pistols just straight up don't get written down. And I think I'm adding tech pistols to that as well. Like, even though there's not that many tech pistols. Like, power pistols and tech pistols pretty much are automatic. I don't care. Um, I work on it. Okay, we got a. Okay, cool. Legendary net running suit up here. I could write down all the locations for all the weapons just to be super holistic about it, but it takes forever to do it. I've already kind of ignored a whole bunch of pistols already, so it's not that big of a deal. I'm more so looking for, like, guaranteed weapons than these, like, randoms. Like... Darn. It's SOR, but... There's nothing special about it. Well, I could break it down to parts. Man, this transmitter takes me back. How so? Back in 2020, we used them for pirate broadcasts. You know, blasting hardcore punk on badge frequencies. Hmm, so this must be how Raff and Shiv hacked those drones. Was beginning to think you'd never figure it out. So the ops have been informed that I'm here. We'll see what that turns into. I was hearing footsteps, so it's just uh. It's just um. <coughs> electronic music. Oh, 
this is the other uh oh turret we just up our engineering while we're out here I guess I really should have been trying all of these different um connexes throughout the game because I really didn't pay attention to the connexes but seeing one that had a legendary in it just now kind of made me think wait I just saw what was in there I could probably warp here in my other game and see what was actually in there matter of fact I'll do that right after we're done here okay cool that'll give me some points for breach protocol all right, 55. Ugh, I hate when it does that. Wow, this one's really just not cooperating at all with me. Okay, well, I guess I got to try doing this and then going for something else. So, BD, 7A, 1C, I only get a two choose, choose, two from there. If I go with that, I don't get anything. If I go with that, I don't get anything. Goodness gracious. Where are all the 55s? Let's start there. Alright, all the 55s are down here. So if I go BD, 7A, 1C, and then I can just drop one. Okay, I'll do that then. Oh, I forgot there was a BD at the end of those 55s. I almost screwed that up. I got lucky though. Times it two. It's kind of bright for 2:09 in the a.m. Is the city just that bright? It can't be healthy for the wildlife. By the way, I did find a crafting spec for the uh, Molodet's grenade. Unfortunately, though, it is not a um, nice work, guaranteed spot because I tried it in my other seed and. It was just like some random crap. Mosquitoes roots are safe and secure again. The contract is closed and closed well. Don't care about that. All right, we'll sell this car. All right, so I said I was gonna go over my build real quick. So here's what we're working with. There's small things I need to do, um, but they're basically just to shore myself up. The only thing I don't have that I would have that is like a straight up edit additive thing is um two hundred percent efficiency. Everything else um is basically like damage damage well this is damage, this is crafting. Damage legendaries tech weapons, smart weapons, a lot of tech weapon stuff. Funny because I'm not running any tech weapons right now. But maybe I should switch to that bird yeah, I just got. That would be actually kind of cool. It will give me some points for handgun, but I want to finish out uh, Assault first. Alright. Here's the Ninjutsu tree. Basically all the stuff that helps me sneak. Plus poison immunity because I don't have enough cool points. I don't have enough for a met metabolic... Uh, editor which is, would make you immune to poison so instead I've just got poison immunity from here cold blood one thing you'll notice even though this is a sniper build I do have easy out just in case the enemy warps to me like runs up on me I can kind of just knock them there one thing I do kind of want uh, is the ability to stun enemies like with this um, I don't know how much of a stagger it is I have to test that out honestly. That would be that would likely be a good upgrade because anytime somebody has Karenzakov and they're able to dodge my my shots, I think this would be a good way to actually you know kill them instead of having to quick hack them real quick so that they can't move. Intelligence, <clears throat> I did get rid of Big Sleep. Big Sleep was an active detriment to me because it didn't work on all the cameras. Like I think it's, it's some cameras are tied to some people, but it wasn't reliable enough. So you would walk, run around thinking that you're safe, and then cameras that weren't tied to the person that you hacked would, you know, detect you. And you're just like, what the heck? So I got rid of it. So from now on, I just friendly mode every 
camera I come across. If it's an enemy hideout, uh, that's the only real big change. I still have Mass One Review Quick Hacks, Total Recall, Total Recall. I don't have this because it's just like I don't need it. <laughs> Not for the. I'm usually using low level quick hacks. Like um, you'll see me use a lot of uh, cripple movement, ping, memory wipe stuff. That's pretty cheap. Pretty pretty cheap. Uh, this I still have just so that I can continue farming points uh, for uh, Breach Protocol. Turret Tamer, obviously. Efficiency, didn't, the chances of me getting three, not that likely. Yeah, so I just don't waste points on that. Uh, For body, this is literally the only one. Reflexes, okay. So... The reflex tree is kind of dead, even though the assault tree is kind of dead up until you get Savage Stoic, and then it's just amazing, because you get 35% damage while you're standing still, and that's just, that's all the sniping power you need. I did take all the damage, and I mean all of it, even like the inefficient stuff like this, which is only 10% damage for 3 points, uh, this, which is only 10%, uh, but well, only if you're firing behind cover, and then was the last one. Those are the 3 that are optional, as far as I'm concerned. Not this one, where is it? Long shot, by the way. Long shot's really good. Far behind cover. Where's the other one? <laughs> I forgot where, what it was. No, no, no. It was this one. So this one at level 1 gives you 10%. Then at level 2 gives you 15%. Which is a diminishing return. Because why did I only get 5 the second time? But with a sure, I am reliably hitting headshots. So even if it's only 5% extra damage, the ability to, you know do that consistency made this you know so basically my goal with this build is to make sure that I'm always 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 getting one shot kills as much as possible so with that in mind I've thrown away almost all of my <laughs> armor like let me show you what my armor looks like I'll just show you my general stats all right, so my armor is actually pretty decent. It's at 1450, so that's actually pretty decent. But in real uh, in real life, I've thrown away all my armor, like all my armor potential. So bonus damage against high threat enemies, 42%. 42% bonus damage against high threat and moderate threat enemies. If you didn't know, enemies with a yellow, I'll show you what it looks like. If I can find one rule, I probably can't find one pretty quick, but I'll show you what it looks like. Basically. Every enemy has a block over their head that is either that has a symbol in it that represents what kind of like class they are. If that block is yellow, they're moderate threat. If it's orange, they're high threat. And okay, can we not? Can we not? How do I change? I haven't played with the radio in so long. I forgot how to change the radio. Nice. Or does this thing's radio just not work? Alright, let me just summon the car. I don't know what's going on with the radio, but I'm about to turn all the music off, honestly. No need in this car, though. So, anyway. So, when you see all that, that means that I did not add armor to this, I wouldn't actually found um the mod to give you Showtime um, Epic here. Instead of getting a uh, Fortuna or something, I went with Weapon Zoom. It's pretty decent. It gives you halfway decent zoom on your weapon, like instead of let's use a weapon pretty decent zoom. All right, let's let's try to see what the difference is here. So I need to be able to d demonstrate it somehow. This was to be with something close by, or maybe something far away. 
Oh, here we are. All right, so you see how these guys have um, that square above their head, and inside the square there's gray. That means that they're very low threat. Gray is very low threat. Green is low threat. Uh, and then um, after that, yellow's moderate threat, yada, yada. And then orange is high threat. And red is very high threat. The skull has nothing to do with the threat level. It's just like an extra, like, you can have a person with a gray square, but then it's like a skull in there, and that just means that their level is way beyond yours. And you're, I mean, they're very high threat to you, but they don't count as very high threat when it comes to these mods that are attached to your gear. So you're not going to get an extra bonus from something like this because they're technically gray or whatever the color they are. There are also mods that, uh, is this the one? No. Let's see if I can find it. I might have put it away already. Yeah, I probably put it away already. Um, or there are also bonuses that give your, um, you bonus damage against very high threat enemies. It's a lower maximum, and I don't. Honestly, you run into a lot of medium threat and high threat enemies. You don't run into a lot of very high threat enemies. Maybe when I fight Adam Smasher, I'll equip it. Like, don't fit a Reaper. There's a high level chance that I might end up running it. But for the most part, when you're just playing the game, you only need um, this stuff. The high threat, moderate threat will take care of most of your enemies. Or when I go up against Cyber Cycles, I might equip that stuff. But I might also equip um, armor instead because armor will probably help me stay alive with this build um all right so that's where all that's coming from um i could have put extra damage on my um face but i didn't i said went for the weapon zoom because this is the only place you can get it it's like it only comes in your glasses in this game um reload time reduction is specifically for Ashura because every single shot it's a bolt action gun so every single shot you you have to reload so you might as well get that extra 13 percent dps uh that comes on the heavy tactical style vests not just militech but any like the animals have them everything like freaking the tire claws have it as well that's where i first found it um muscle tanks have this bonus as well Office pants have this, and then work boots have it as well. So everything's built around being able to one-shot moderate threat and high threat enemies. If they're lower threat enemies, I should be one-shotting them anyway, unless they have a skull next to their name. There's nothing I don't think that helps you one-shot skull enemies. You just have to be that. You just have to be him. You know, you have to be on your star player. All right. So now that we've covered this, oh my weapons. Overwatch, Ashura, 05, they're all 050. This is a perfect Ashura. After experimenting a little bit, I figured out that you can hop and get your shot off without having the extra two seconds of lock on. So that means that just having this quick pop is better. The only other thing I might say might be better than this, what might be projectile tra travel time, and the only reason I think that is because there's a perk where shoot reload repeat after re sh shoot, uh, de defeating an enemy you get that uh quick reload so if you're close enough to your enemy you'll get the quick reload with the shura but if you're farther away you won't get it at least not on the first shot and sometimes that <laughs> slows me down like tremendously and i just be thinking yo if i had a faster bullet it would have worked like, that 50% faster projectile would give me 50% more range where my quick reload would activate. So that's the only one where I might feel like it. But also, I'm keeping real with you, this reduced lock on time by 50% is also really freaking good. And I'm going to say that because it basically guarantees that as soon as you see the enemy, you can pull the trigger. Like, if you're, if you're zoomed in and you see the enemy their head's going to pop into a red triangle and you can just pull the trigger. You can't do that unless you have that modifier on. Like, Assure is pretty quick, but it's not that quick. Like, I tried it with the base Assure that doesn't have that modifier on it. 
it's still pretty quick, but it's like one Mississippi before you get the pure lock on. Whereas with this one, as soon as I train my weapon on them, they're locked pretty much. So that's why I like this one because it helps me out. It helps me to actually have a combat rifle without resorting to using an Achilles as a combat rifle. 05 is kind of a disappointment. I'm not going to lie. Like my problem is I'm not good with it. It might be a skill issue. It might literally be one of those get good moments, but I've been trying with this thing for a while. I've had it since probably halfway a quarter through my playthrough and then it's just like a third through my playthrough and it's just like uh, I try to aim at their feet to get the the triple kill I try to do whatever it takes and somehow I'm just the the explosion just misses I'm like yo I, I did I hit their feet and somehow the explosion just whiffs them completely and it's just like I don't know what this is maybe the explosion radius is too small but when you only get a very slow shot one at a time, you can't afford to whiff. So when it works, it's great. Like when you kill a, an entire group of three enemies with a sniper rifle without any type of retaliation, like they don't have a chance to get back at you, it feels amazing. But when you, when it fails, it is extraordinarily punishing. And this thing is in bolt, bolt reaction, but it still fires slow enough that you're you're going to get punished. And the enemies immediately scatter and all that. It's it's just not a good look. Overwatch is great. Uh, it's the only. It, it ha- kind of has to be great because it's literally your only um, silent sniper in the game. Here's one thing I want to show you guys. So even though it appears to have by far the lowest DPS rating out of all of these. All right. So you guys see how I'm running around? I crouch. So it's still 353. I'm on Overwatch right now, right? Yeah, I am. So it was on 343 and it's still on 343, uh, 453. And the reason that's important is because you will notice that I have a, I think it's this. Where is it? One of these. There it is, the Silent and Deadly. So increases damage dealt by silence weapons by 25% while sneaking. So even though I'm sneaking, you did not see in my inventory an increase of this thing's DPS, which means that I'm getting the bonus. I think I'm getting the bonus at least, but I'm getting the bonus, but I'm not. It's not like showing up, which to me means that that's hidden damage. So I'm probably hitting for more like that plus 112, so like five, 570 ish, which is in line with Ashura. And then on top of that, it has a four pack of bullets instead of a one pack of, but obviously it's not a smart sniper, it's a sound sniper. Um, just so I'm not BSing, let me see something. Do I have a gun I could throw a sound sniper real, real fast? Yeah, anyone will do. Let's try this Pulsar. Let's throw a sound sniper on it. Just make sure I'm not tripping. Have enough of these? Yeah, I have plenty. All right, so let's load it into the game. It's loaded. Cool. So right now it's got 465. Let's see if it if I'm tripping. Nope, 465 still. Move around a little bit. Make sure it recognizes that I'm standing. Yeah. So. It does not. <clears throat> it does not understand that I'm using a sound swa- a sound swa- weapon, and I'm like just. And that was a silencer, right? Yeah, that was a silencer. Yeah. So it doesn't understand that I'm using a sound swa- weapon. Um. So this weapon actually does do quite a good bit of damage. What is that? Are these in CPD? Yeah, they are. So that's all that there is to say about my build. I think this is probably the strongest sniper build you can go for. <clears throat> the only other thing I will add, okay, so this is like finding one piece. This is the journey I'm on. I am looking for a Nikomata that has, you remember that Burry I saw earlier with two rounds, but in, well, it says decreased fire rate, but it's actually increased fire rate. 
I'm looking for that on an Ikamata. So technically there is the breakthrough, which is a ricochet. It's a ricocheting um tech sniper. Kinda like an upgraded Nikamata, I think, right? Where's the Nikamata? There it is. Yeah, I think this is upgrade Nikamata. Um There is that. But here's the thing about that. Being able to ricochet is nowhere near as important as being able to produce two bullets per shot and then shoot faster. That's just how I'm that's just how I'm calling it. Like, if you get this, I can't think of too many enemies besides Adam Smasher and Oda that can that that can withstand a shot. Like, at this point No, if if I have all my stuff active, I'm crouching, I'm behind cover, and I'm standing still. That means I basically have like plus a hundred ish damage with all my other stuff active and all my crit stuff active. Plus a hundred percent ish, maybe more. And then I have two bullets coming out. I'm talking about plus four hundred percent damage ish from a sniper rifle. Like only things that don't have weaknesses are going to like mechs almost it would have to be mechs if i find a electric and this is this is what i'm talking about like the the ultimate weapon for don't fear the reaper i want an electric nikamata with two bullets per shot if i find that and i don't think it exists because when i was trying to roll one during um during uh, that the last gig in watson uh, whatever it's called, where you get to beat up Anna Mox or Anna Knox or whatever her name is to try to get roll a weapon, any weapon of your choice. This was, funnily enough, not one of the choices. Like, I could not drop a Nikomatsu, and I was dropping super rare weapons. I was dropping, dropping Kappas, Masamunes, all that. I could not find a Nikomata. And I was just like, yo, where the heck is this Nikomata at? I found multiple Asuras now. I found three different places with an Asura on him. I've yet to find a Nikamata that is um, modified. And I know for a fact that Defenders can't come modified unless you get it from a Cyber Cycle. And I'm starting to think that's also true about a Nikamata. And unfortunately, the Nikamata that's modified from a Cyber Cycle is number one, rare. And number two, it has the Quick Charge ability, which is great if you want to use it as a sniper rifle. But if you just want to use it to kill things in one shot, you want the ability to kill things in one shot, the, the, the double bullets. Um, so, uh, that's my golden ticket. Um, I'll eventually, if I can't find it, I'll just make a breakthrough. But to me, breakthrough is, I don't see why I wouldn't just use a Achilles. Like, I'm going to keep real. I don't see why I wouldn't just use an Achilles. Because I have an Achilles, that a perfect Achilles that can do many many better things than breakthrough i don't see why I'd, i it's a sniper rifle but at the same time i don't care like if i'm going to fight adam smasher especially in um in don't fear the reaper and honestly all the mechs in don't fear the reaper i can try with breakthrough but i'm pretty sure it's going to be best done with achilles like i'm almost 1000 percent sure i'm going to just use achilles there if I don't find the Sneakamata. So that's what that's the journey we're on right now. We're looking for the Sneakamata. If we can find it epic, that's great. If we can find it rare, that's great, honestly. If we can find a legendary, I mean I'm in pig heaven, but like we're just we're just looking for the thing. Modified Nikamata, that's what we're looking for. With a changeable modifier or a guaranteed double bullet. That's what we're looking for. So sorry for going deep 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 into that but I felt like I kind of need to explain exactly what I'm going aiming for here all right so we're gonna go on to the next gig I've already cleared out so I've split the Badlands into two areas this area up here by the way if you're looking for the uh, fast travel points in the Badlands I've got them all except for the rest camp up here and this isn't one but the trail park over here, I, or over here, I haven't grabbed either. But uh, here's the Northeast Badlands. 
technically that's also the battle dance, but that's where, just where Johnny is. So you'll pick that up during the main, not main quest, but the side quest with the rogue uh, chipping in. And then uh, here's the uh, southeast badlands near Pacifica or southwest badlands rather. So I've split them up into two two different locations. I've already knocked out all the NCPD stuff in the northeast off stream. Now I'm just doing the gigs in the northeast as well. Um, so yeah, that's what it comes down to. Oh yeah, there's also Zion Wild over there. I have to worry about him. I'm trying not to get into a fight with him. Uh, cause I wanna, I technically could right now. Uh, because I'm level 50. Just call it a, an early cyber cycle, I guess. But I kind of like to leave cyber cycles for their own episode. And I honestly do want to have that sniper duel with him, like in the real way, instead of just sneaking up behind him because I know exactly where he's at. And I want to pick up that gun that's on the ground, the uh, the dead one, the dead dude had. I guess he tried to have a sniper duel. Ooh, Glena Gecko. If I didn't already have a Gleena Rattler, I would take it. Like, if I wasn't playing a Nomad, I would use the Gecko until I got a Shion, uh, what you call it. I guess I should just turn on Cyber Cycle so I can see him. There. Alright, yeah. We're, yeah, we, we should be able to go pa right past him, actually. So this is the one with all the uh, mines. Like, yeah, this is the minefield. I should save, just in case I've run over one. Oh, you know what I said I was gonna do? We'll come right back. I need to go find a... All right, let me get into manual saves. Okay. China, Nocturne, Nocturne, Path of Glory, I just need one that is enduring. This looks fine. Yeah, this looks fine. I want to go check out that Connex. Yeah, my love is grand, grand, grand. See, there's one for the Nomad Camp. Here's the one for the trailer park. All right, we want to go right across from the Sunset Motel. I think I already accomplished this in this quest, in this, uh, and the body build. Hopefully I already did this gig. I just want to run up to the Connex and open it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Alright, what are we working with? Alright, I guess the most important thing is what, what do I have for her cyberware? Do I have a... Crap! Okay, I'm kind of screwed, ain't I? Oh, no, no, I'm not screwed at all. Let's go. Check out the coordinates. Find out who is responsible. The details are attached. Yeah. Oh. Ah, I miss having health. Oh. I might I might have bit off a little more than I could chew here though. Like, uh yeah. 
I'm definitely I'm definitely pushing it. Oh yeah, that's right. If they get close to me, they die. I forgot. How about this? Hey, you look busy. Let me take this. Oh, I can't run. Oh, it's open. Okay, so it's just carnage in this game. Well, we figured it out. Oh, where's my last manual save? Was it this? Hopefully it was this. It looks right. Unfortunately, they don't tell you where Vasquez Pass and all these other places are on the map, so you just have to guess. Like, is this Vasquez Pass? Well, if I save here and it says so, then I guess so. Sometimes it'll tell you, hey, you just entered Red Peaks, you just entered Vasquez Pass. But, you know, it doesn't really tell you. Oh, let's go. Oh yeah, I'm surrounded by him. So, as much as I need you for this new gig, I know you need the adrenaline hit even more. There is a car sitting in the middle of a minefield out at the Badlands. I need you to grab it. Apparently it worked, but it didn't work. The chances of you exploding. I got the level for engineering, and at the same time I died. Ah, I got I got hit. Anyway, um, I could use, I, I don't want to craft a breakthrough here because I don't want to waste a point. So, one thing I did mess up on, or I wouldn't say mess up, but I just didn't account for, I don't have the ability to craft uh, grenades and I don't have the ability to craft breakthrough because I don't have either, well, when I say grenades, I mean homing grenades. So the homing grenades would help me level my engineering some more, which would help me get another point, which I could pour into this point. Or I could craft breakthrough, or I could just level up my... Yeah, I'm kind of just paused on what I want to do until I get like two or three more points. Or really, one more point. Then I could just take both. Then I could just farm for... I love shooter low repeat. Just lump on them all. Oh, he's far away. He's super dead. Getting hit by a crit. He's getting hit by a uh, short circuit. That's questionable. Just taking all of our free engineering points here. Oh, that almost blew up in my face. I can feel it coming. I can feel it calling in the air tonight. Hold on. I still technically haven't missed any even though one blew up in my face. 
I, I got the points for it. Oh, I got the points for that one too. <laughs> hey, barely never. All right, let's back up. Let's try it again. It's got, you know what? You just gotta run up on it like you own it. Yeah, just run up on it like, like you ain't scared. Okay, okay. I wasn't close enough, and I didn't get a prompt. There you go. It's like pouring water from one glass into another glass. You just got, you have to commit. That's all it really comes down to. Just commit. Smile on himself before he OD'd us. Maelstrom's shipment. This is what you get for sampling Maelstrom's supply. Strongest shit out there. Nothing else that can fire up their burnt out synapses. Poor bastard. His output's probably out in Albuquerque, waiting, unaware little Jiro's brain turned to jelly. Doesn't Johnny say he's gonna go to Albuquerque at the end of the game if you take his ending? Spoiler alert, by the way, but yeah, I think that's what he said, right? Something like that. Is he Bugs Bunny? <laughs> yeah, which way is Albuquerque? Took, or took the wrong turn to Albuquerque, that's what he said. Bleed, 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 that's all, folks. Free points. Wait, nope, I got it. <laughs> I don't miss. Play Minesweeper with our faces here. If we have to face tank a couple of these, we will. We have. Got it again. Holy crap, how many are there? Great engineering experience, by the way. I should remember this for uh, if I'm ever power leveling. Uh, so once Phantom Menace comes out or Phantom Liberty comes out, <laughs> I have to remember that this is a good spot to power level uh, engineering. All right, let's back up a bit. Need to get the prompt. What the heck? I might get a full level here. Like, no cap. All facts, no cap. Ah, huh, learn to be EOD. EOD without a bomb suit. Okay. Did we get them all? I feel like we got them all. Yeah, it looks kind of like it. Uh, where does that put us on? Um, engineering. Yeah, we we not only did we level, we got another fifty two percent in at level fifteen, which is pretty high level. And then we've only got a level and a half to go. Um, there's nothing between me and there, right? Oh, Zion's there. Probably shouldn't go towards him. Otherwise, we're good to go. Do 
doors are overrated. That's what seatbelts are for. Keep me inside the truck. I wonder what kind of car this is. Uh, let's not get out yet. So doing this specific uh, gig is how I learned about that uh, organized crime. Because <laughs> I rolled past them and they started shooting at me. And I was like, oh, that's bad. And I learned later that that's exactly where you get one of your skill point perk point shards. So that's actually a really good organized crime to do early in the game. This entire area, this northeast um, Badlands is actually a really good area to hit early in the game. Because it has a lot of the... Um, a lot of the skill progression shards and a perk point shard, but yeah, if you're looking for those, and it has per other perk shards too, like perk point shards, skill, skill progression shards, a lot of those. So if you're trying to get your uh, leveling up, very good spot to go for uh, an, an early act too. You just clear out all these uh, assaults in progress and gigs, at least assaults in progress are good for that. Oh, we're halfway there. Well, well. These are the results I like to see. Until next time, brother. Gate closed. I don't know you. Well, that completes that. Alright, so... Where we at? I'm just out of her garage. I don't know what her garage is called. Oh, the Dakota. Alright, well. Uh, I think I'll call this episode here. Uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I'm probably not going to do any more episodes. Like, of this main nature. Unless I really feel like it. But as always, I've been me. You've been awesome. Next time I do episode, I hope it's going to be um, inside of... Uh, I should be back on a main quest line, actually. Hold up. For Matt Pan, uh, Tampelin, we can go snap our way through that. And after that, I'll be able to get up to, um, crafting level 18 because I unlocked the quest for, um, other stuff. Yeah. But as always, I've been me. You've been awesome. Till next time. <laughs>